there, this is a direct message you see to all the brain dead, all the people that does Facebook lives in groups, banter groups. I've got a funny feeling I got a few on you. Um, it's right. If you do an internet live video, yeah, yeah, you do a live internet video, your dreams ends now. You ain't gonna become famous. You ain't gonna become famous. Let this get into your fucking head. You're not gonna be famous. You know that I got more chance of becoming famous than you. You know this, so it hurts. I bet it hurts, don't it? The feeling that you, you might become famous one day, but deep down you know in reality you ain't. You ain't got no talent, you got no skills. You got no skills, bro, you got no skills, no skills, you got no skills. None of you got no skills, bro. <laughs> so stop dreaming of becoming famous because it's not gonna happen. I'm gonna become famous, not you. I got talent and skills. I'll take my jet, private jet, go bar this year. I take me and my family and run the world, that is. That's what I want. I did want a Lambo, I'm going to have a Lambo. Bright green Lambo, and I want a jet. If I want a jet, I'll have a fucking jet. Go there, mate, think big. Other influencers do what I do, I've had a fucker. Again this morning, jealousy, jealousy. This guy, if he really wanted to, he could help me. No, he thinks he's a fucking good motivational speaker himself, doesn't he? And as well, he, he, and as well, I don't know right up, but he wants to become he wants to become a millionaire by the time he's 30. He's 25 now. Showed one of his videos in his board meeting, so he's giving a speech in front of everyone. Everyone's on their phones, no one's listening, he's boring. Anyway, I sent him a couple of videos off. No one fucking know, do he? Oh. He's 25 UK, founder of Instagram Impact Academy. Follow me on a millionaire by 30 journey. I'm trying to become a millionaire self. Motivation speaker. You know as good as me, bro. He knows this as well. He's seen something fucking hell of this. He did, I thought he did make content. He got blue content on his Instagram. Oh, yeah, like my fucker put it out. His content is fucking wank, bro. It's wank. It's fucking wank. <laughs> no, he didn't even reply back to me. And what? Cut down a little. You added me, did? You added me last week. Oh, get back to you. Big following. I got a laugh, right? He's trying to tell you how to build a big, grow a, an Instagram following. It's all bollocks. It's all bollocks. Nobody wants to fucking follow people. Everyone wants to be followed. No follow others. I don't go on the internet fucking look to follow people. Meet. Andrew Commando slash aka the Wilcock. I am a machine, a fucking machine, a special breed, a one-off, a freak of nature. Right? But my intelligence, I'm getting com more confident now, right? More comfortable controlling me, my, my like new, I don't know, my new abilities I got. Um, of intelligence, right? I know I can problem solve quick as fuck. I can come up with an idea, a solution, like a bang, right? I know my solution. It'll be the best solution you can fucking ever possible get. Um, but give. Very good at uh, said I've been told when Guru didn't know what Guru was until I looked it up. Guru was doing big money to do sorting people's problems out on the ship. Like right? comes to me. <laughs> um, having all my abilities. To think, curious, yeah, I'm, I'm quite proud of it, you want to? Ah, oh, fucking hell. Fuck. I made fucking brilliant progress last night on my, my Facebook. It lasted longer than I thought it would. <clears throat> I thought it was going to go down first thing this morning, but went through the morning, fucking, just now. Bang, gone. Ah, oh, fucking gutted. <clears throat> I made fucking some brilliant new connections as well. All gone. All gone. All my hard work. All fucking gone. Facebook gone again. Tell us, it's not a nice feeling. That having Facebook. Keep being taken off. You know, like, no, someone stopped me from going Facebook. It's fucking shit. It's hard as fuck.
Fucking hell, Facebook man, are you a fucking away that trolls know about this fucking feature you got? Fucking hell, biggest company in the fucking world. Fucking pathetic. I've tried to get a message through to him as well. Fuck's sake, some fucking scumbags, okay? Cool. Now if I find out this, I, this is Irish country, is that? Whatever, anyway, whatever it is. Now if I find out who it is, right? I will do something to them, right? They will regret ever, ever fucking disabling my account. I'm gonna say what it is. I've done it before. And it destroyed someone's life. Oh yes, trust me, I know what, I know a fucking, some very, very fucking, what to do to get some fucker. I, I ain't gonna hurt anybody, I'll never ever get arrested, even if I did get caught. Right, I'm gonna reveal too much, man. Black about two or three years ago, when I was fucking right off the rails. Meeting, I was going on, meeting a lot of people on my Snapchat, basically. Anyway, this girl, mailed me. So yeah, we, uh, we've been, we've chatting for a while. She loved my Snapchat, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> loved my videos. She said, um, I wonder if you can help me, she said. I want to get revenge back on my direct boyfriend or was Bundy, I can't remember which one it was, wasn't I want to get revenge. Can you help me? I don't know what to do, I want to get the fucker back. Maybe I can, yeah. What's, I ain't going to do it for fuck all, man. She lived fucking miles away, this person is. <clears throat> um, the cream, ah, uh, <laughs> it was an awkward one, it was, right? She was quite a, she was a business woman, this girl, this woman was. Anyway, we done that sort of like a deal. And as well, she, 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 like, liked me. I thought, oh, I don't mind you either, like, do you want to <laughs> She's a, said she's a business woman, got a bit of money. I thought, oh, see how it goes. Anyway, <clears throat> so all I needed to know was where he lived and his name. Then a little bit of research, right? Bang, this is what I gotta do. I jumped on a train, right, from Avery up to Manchester one evening. <clears throat> it was late train, it was like in the afternoon. I was gonna, what I was gonna do was night time sort of thing, like, off my fucking head as well, mate. Scouring about. She kept saying to me, what are you going to do? What are going to do? I said, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. i tell you what I've done after I've done it. Anyway. <laughs> train up. Got to my destination. I had, to, I had to make two fucking trains. She paid for the fares, right? That's all I wanted to do was pay for the fares. Then, I had to, I had to do two trains. Go off one train to somewhere else and get on another train, blah, blah. Anyway, got to my destination. Scout waddle, scouring about walking about the, the local town and all that. As I know, as a uh, Mr. Average. Well, this is what I'm on about. Loners, quiet people, people cut yourself off, right? Dangerous people. I, I was just a normal guy walking on the town to everyone else. Little did they know I'm prepared to do something to wreck some fucker's life. I was walking about, searching for that perfect fucking spot. I wanted everything perfect. Picked the spot. Hey, anyway, I ain't reveal too much into it. Maybe I might write a book one day and it'll be in there. But I keep you wondering, thinking, plus as well, I don't want to get him back. Just to, anyway. <laughs> Night time comes. I'm walking about. It was in the, was in the summer, it was like. And it was nice if they mind walking about. I wouldn't say is I done what I had to do. Back to the train station and waited down for seven o'clock till the fucking train came in. I didn't mind. I was fucking about talking to people through round town. Oh, I was fucking flying. I was gonna tell you this next bit, but fuck it, they were like, <clears throat> quite hard to believe. That's why I was gonna tell you, but it's God's honest truth. Anyway, I done what I had to do. Happy with my, um, happy with what I've done. Like, my mission, I completed my mission, did a good job, but I'm impressed with it, satisfied. Anyway, back at the train station, I was out at 4 in the morning. It was like a block of complex of city with flats. Road, like to that one, two, three, Notice someone, oh, like looking through the window, what? Uh, 
you know. Hey, yo, my man, my you phone's on music going. The train station. Looking at. Talk to the guy for all one thing, one thing like no, maybe or something. Like anyway, next you know, I had a Snapchat message. Yes, I can see you. you can't see me. Oh, for fuck's sake, man! Who the fucking hell is this now? Eh? Anyway, when I was looking, and I thought, oh, I know, I know who this is. Previously to the in the day, I've gone around. I'm always giving my if I talk to some fuck, I think go Snapchat, bang, give give him my Snapchat. And eh? previous to the day, I was in a phone shop, <coughs> flirt, uh, messing around with girls. Ah, fucking hell, here we go. Hey, <coughs> and I had my Snapchat off me, so I um, Snapchat. Anything, nothing else over there. She see this girl, right? Had seen me through the window. She went, fucking hell. He's our fucking boy from today. He fit one, right? And she sent me a snap. She sent me another snap, in, right? I got a deal, she said. Are you in or are you out? So, I take you. You're waiting for the train, she said. How about you can come in here in my flat to wait for the train, right? As long as I, you smash me. Basically, I thought, oh, fucking hell, I couldn't believe it. I could not fucking believe it. So, you can fucking make sure they never slept with a Welsh guy before, right? Oh, <laughs> and I say it now. I just remember me in the back. It is fucking wind up now. Like, I don't go over there and I'll get fucking, like, you know, I always sound too good to be true. I just think shit like this don't happen like that all the time. Like, <clears throat> she didn't know what she said. Um, I can't sleep, blah blah. And um she said, uh, I'd rather have you in here than you out there, sort of thing like it wasn't cold the fuck. I was in the summer, I didn't mind, mind it, eh? I had a fucking bag of green with me, smoking joints outside the train station, I was. Anyway. Anyway, I walked across the road now to the complex. Because I the deal was set. Uh, yeah, go on. Basically, I'll you know, you stay in my flat until you think comes, as long as we have sex, she said. And keep it no strings. Don't no comebacks, don't blah blah, blah. no comebacks. Sex and that's it. The fucking right deal, come on, eh? She went over there. I said, I've got a boyfriend. She went, yeah. I said, you ain't gonna come back, you know, because I've been in a couple of positions like this before, where I've had a fucking rep murder. <clears throat> I ended up on a fight before with somebody in the garden. This girl's fucking house when I went back. It was my fault, but is he's gonna come back? No, he's away. He's in fucking in another country. Oh, fuck, come on, let's go. As long as he's gonna come back when I'm good. <laughs> I don't, I don't know him. I don't give a fuck either. They probably do it to me. My bad, it done to me, and he's so fuck it. Every man for himself. Uh, man, when he's walked up the stairs, they said right there, you never slept with a Welsh guy before. Let me just tell you, I am the best. <laughs> I said I'm gonna fucking show you a fucking English boyfriend now. I was fucking done. <laughs> anyway, done the business on a blow with fucking mind, you know what I mean? We have to be later on now when I was on a on a fag was on chat. Like five o'clock in the morning, six o'clock in the morning, whatever. She went, What you up before I'm no you did look weird as fuck. Like why am I up here? Are you morning around town all fucking day? She you just look no what are you up before I thought oh, fuck it. I'll tell her. She tell did she tell on me? I'll tell her. Eh? <laughs> so he said right then. I'll never breathe a word of me sleeping though. As long as you don't breathe a word about me doing this, blah, blah. And then I showed her. I said, what do you think of this? This is what I've done. Showed her a screenshot and a picture. Her reaction was the best, but I showed her. She had my phone. She... Oh my God. <gasps> she went, I know him. Say, oh dear. Oh. <laughs> I don't know him personally, like. He, he was like, he's like, where, where, like, similar where I'm from. He was, like, he was, he was a town, right? She went, oh my fucking God. Oh my God. <laughs> I went, oh fuck, man. I said, see what mind? She cried, right? And then she started, like, she went, you are a fucking bad man. <laughs> she went, oh my God. 
Oh my god. I wish, oh, I'd love to tell you what I actually done, but maybe you know, I'll tell you in a book one day. But until then, this is about you too fresh, too close. Maybe I might give you a year or two later, get a bit close, oh, further away. <laughs> right? <laughs> Never told this story before. Like I said, I like to keep things ash ash. Less people you tell, less chance you get in kind court. I was going to go, but before I was mo moving out of my house, right? Um, give me my ex finish, I was going to try and keep it all myself, right? But I couldn't do it because of the payment, so I was fighting. Like, the only way around there was still eh, I brought a boy up, right away, no. I could, could pretty good friends with him, eh? He didn't, he didn't know where I actually lived. I blindfolded him, right? From Abertillery up to where I lived. But I'm oh, sorry, like, um, I know a mask you sleep, you um, go to sleep with. <laughs> and blackout mask with that on, right? As you sat next to me in the car. Guided him up the garden path, shut the, like, it was like a build, it was like a three story house, but it was like downstairs, it was like a, well, they called it the rape dungeon, that's where I used to go. If we're meaning an argument, I didn't give a fuck. Straight in the rape dungeon, picked, signal up the Wi Fi and a PowerPoint. My little chairs in there, the music, it was like my little den, it was like the rape dungeon, I called it. Right? Perfect, I thought it was for growing. Took him in, he said, Wait there, blah, blah. You really didn't have a fucking clue where he was. Somewhere in Everville, but didn't have a fucking clue. The only person I said he was, he was gonna set all the draw up for me. Every time I bring him to mine, he, I was gonna tell him where I fucking live. I know I got off the rails, but I got I gotta tell you what happened to my deal of growing becoming a fucking um a ganja farmer, right? <laughs> well yes, I had built in a money, couple of hundred quid, enough to buy the equipment, set it all up, blah blah blah. He was he was gonna he did what to call get grows going in other people's houses. Give him a certain percentage of the grow where we're call but fuck that. I want the I want the maximum profit for myself, you know, a little bit. So I want something to worth it. So a couple of hundred quid I was gonna invest in an old kit. Um, he's going to set it all up for me, tell me and show me what to do, so I don't have a fucking clue. He, he goes, he knows his fucking shit. Anyway, schoolboy error. <laughs> Can't believe it. He was like, I mean, in a way, maybe it was a good thing. It was like meant to have happened to me. In the night now, right, one evening, I was um, Snapchatting. I was, I was flat out on Snapchat. Well, no, I was, I was even working worse then. Snapchatting, fucking everything. Sending videos back now, right? So I sent down um, my, I mean, made a couple of videos and tell him what my plan was, right? Nothing of it. Next day, I woke, um, went to bed, woke up. Now, a couple of people messaged me. Oh my god, have you seen him on Snapchat? No, I saw him somewhere. He said I was in bed, I was thinking, duh, he Snapchat, I saw him somewhere. My dean, I have a fucking clue what was on. Snapchat, bump bump story, bump bump bump, what? Oh, I thought, oh my god. <laughs> Basically, I'd put them snaps telling them about my. My plan to grow a fucking skunk and have a fucking greenhouse go away. I told away everyone my plans. Every fucker, a couple of hundred people had fucking seen it and everyone, I basically told everyone wondering. Oh, I was like, oh my god. Fucking hell, I was fucking, fucking planning and fucking chatting away and getting every, oh my. And as well, he was keeping the house as well. The only way to keep the house was to do this. I thought now we're fucked. Fucking hell, my God. Oh, I'm biggest schoolboy here or ever. I don't need fucking, instead of sending them to him, uploaded up my story, then I went to fucking bed. Didn't even, didn't even know, I didn't even want to know who seen it. That's why I seen it, it was on 400. I just fucking bop, 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 deleted them all then. But 400 people had fucking seen it for, oh, for fuck's sake. Fucking hell, I've always fucking planning out. And as well, I had it all, oh, yes, it's going to be easy as is. Mate, I know, I know a couple of boys who grow, bro. I mean, one mate who's grown in regular, tell him how much money he was on. He's on no fucking cracking money in the bar. He's on so fucking how much money he's earning in his eyes. He's having a new car for fucking hell, if you have play. It's fucking piece of piss. Drop a bit of water on it, someone show what to do. Fucking easy, you'll get into it. So trust me, say easy money. And I thought, what oh, fucking night? I thought, give up work, I'll have a fucking big you. Um, cul cul cultivating fucking farm, whatever. I have a fucking huge greenhouse. You're going from downstairs shed. I have one in every fucking bedroom. I said, <laughs> yeah, and I could do her. I thought, hmm, she's gone. I'm gonna myself. Three bedroom house. Each bedroom is grown. <laughs> I've seen one of my mates um, going in in his bedroom. You have a fucking tent, for spray tanning tent. That's what he has. 
in, his, in each bedroom, uh, and he's going with me. Was me loads and loads and loads, but he was nice, not no enough to um, don't take all of it, like. Basically, you fucking have, you know, in the garden up to a grand, a grand a week be nice. That's, that's the target that's what I used to make before when I used to sell fucking pills. I do two, two up to a two grand a fucking night. Anyway, I mad. But as soon as I woke up, as soon as I realised what I had done, instead of sending in the fucking snaps, I got loaded into a fucking story tonight. Uh, didn't think I'd be over Hey, I thought I'm going to bed. Hey, of course. I ain't going fucking anywhere. I'm going to keep the house going. Fucking, she can go. She can fucking... Glad. I'm glad she's going in. I got this test. <sighs> but how wrong was I? <laughs> oh, oh, you won't believe I've got my, my mate. Daddy all fucking let go of the fucking... Yeah, he had equipment. And he was all ready. To, ready for the comfortable to get, over, get up and running. Bang, bang. He had all the, all the gear. Ready to have it go in. Um, but as soon as I see now when I woke up, I go, oh, I remember fucking, oh my god. Oh, well, fucking, always planning and fucking, always for fuck all, you know, open, you know, but I had to keep my house on as well. Like, I was fucking gutted. I was fucking gutted. Of course, I'm fucked. Now I'm fucked. Now I am fucked. Now I, I'm now I got no choice. I gotta go back home. My now my idea of keeping this house going, going a bit of weed is now gone. You know? It's not a fucking chance. I'm gonna fucking um, do it now. Knowing fucking I don't even know no. And as well as a dickhead, an enemy of mine on my Snapchat. So if he's seen it, the only people that knew about this dream was, was my best mate, Georgie. Right, I, I could tr he's one of my best just mates. He's like a brother to me. Right, I could trust him in my fucking life. It was him. Um, and this boy who's going to set up, set the crop, my friend who's going to set up the crop for me and show me how to do it. Just them two. But the guy who's um, doing my crop for me, he didn't mind me, do, you know, he said he fucking mad about all the mask on. Huh? But I said, less people know about this, the better. And no one, no one would have fucking knew. I've been in prison and people brag, oh, I do a bit of green, I've grown green, I think, Marie, you don't know me from fucking Adam. You don't do go telling me that you grow green, just a show off look. Oh, I cultivate it, you know I I grow fucking green, I do it, buddy. Have you heard it all before? Didn't you show them off? I think you fucking clowns, you don't tell people you don't know. But as far as you know, I could be a fucking, I could go and rob you a place now without green. Anyway, I've gone a bit off the trail a little bit. Let's get back to my story, the original one. <laughs> anyway. Next day, you know, blah, 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 I went to the train station after we'd had a night of passion and blew my mind, showing all the Welsh well, boys and fucking rock and roll. <laughs> um, anyway, I was on the train coming home, I had a message. The I mean, first thing she did when she woke up was make me this girl did, made me show her Well, I sent the video back, I said, um, there, Danny, no problem, all, all went to plan. She went, what did, what did you do after that? So I sent her the picture of what I done. <laughs> she sent me a Snapchat back going, Oh my fucking God! Oh my fucking God! Oh my fucking God! Right? I, 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 oh, I wish I knew, I wish I knew what he was going to do. I wouldn't have fucking had it to do. I, you don't need to destroy, that this could destroy him. It destroy his business. I said, that's what you fucking wanted. But then you wanted him fucking hurt bad for him to leave now. Oh, no, I didn't, I didn't, I wouldn't have had this done. Oh my fucking God, oh my fucking God, oh my God. Oh my. <laughs> Both, off he went now, right? Bit later on in the morning, she's when I got home and all that, right? She drank me to tell me, oh my God, what? I had done, right? All over Facebook and all over the town, the fucking lot, right? She said, I can't believe what you fucking done. She, I said, well, you wanted him fucking done, and I done it. No problem, I thought, where's my fucking package with like snow at? Then she fucking tapped me right up. Right up, bro. Fucking blocked me. Wipe me out, what you fucking bitch. <sighs> fucking tapped me up, she didn't even fucking get up. She was fucking, to be honest, she was in shock. <laughs> uh, she, she said that it was all white and it was fucking everywhere. But you need a little town, man. everyone knew each other. I didn't say what exactly what I done. <laughs> but she asked me, well, to a thing, 
it was a little test to see how good it worked and it worked. I told her, she went, oh my god, she like, never would have let you do that, you, you've gone too far, like, this could fucking absolutely destroy you, I'm worried, uh, she must have still loved, of course she did, I mean, must have thought, might have been getting back or whatever, down, but of course she loved him deep down, she said, you've def you would just absolutely fucking destroyed him, with what you've done, right, and I said, well, that's what we wanted it, and I said, well, what do you think I was going to do then, she said, oh, I thought I was going to go up with a fucking, and scare him with a mask on, yeah, I was going to fucking, Pour him about and do this. Boom! Ah, ah. Boom! Boom! Go on, bud. You're supposed to shit yourself. Or maybe this one. Bring him warm, isn't he, bro? Go on, you're supposed to run. Anyway, you're scared. The reason why she thought that, because I told a story previously about what I'd done to this fucking boy. Again, I haven't told this story here. He was an ex, he was a drug dealer, scumbag, who was abusing, I wouldn't get out of my friend's house, sort of thing. And yeah, my buddy asked me for help to get him out there. So, what did I do? I went down with my mask on, and, and the, the, funny enough, he was like a, bit of a pig's mask at the time. Pig's mask with fucking black head, creepy as fuck he was. Off soul, I think he was. That little fancy dress coat. Anyway, she thought I was going to go down here because she liked that story. I told her what I'd done to the drug dealer. She thought I was going to go up there and do that. No. No, you wanted him destroyed. No, that's what she told me. I want to see, I want to hurt the fuck out. I want to get on revenge. I want revenge. Leave it to me, I said. Next nice year, what are we going to do? See, I'm not going to tell her. I'll tell, tell her after it's done it, but trust me. You like it? You, I'll destroy him. <laughs> <laughs> Go up and scare him with a fucking mask on. <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do? I jump out of bushes. Ooh, look at me with a fucking mask. I don't know his mask on. Ooh. <laughs> Fucking hell, what the fuck's all about? Yeehaw! Hey, baby! You looking hot, hot tonight? tonight? I have people skills. I am good at dealing with people. Can't you understand yeah. it? What the hell is wrong with you people? Monster kill! I do love my hooking sound effects. Monster kill! Monster kill! Monster kill! Monster kill! Monster kill! Monster kill! Everyone's mailing me, asking me why it was. I'm not telling anybody. Find out in my book <laughs> what I did. <clears throat> That's the first ever time I've ever told that story. I don't know where I come from. I forgot all about it though. So I just had random bang, a story will pop in my head about something. But some, I, I, I stopped telling people my stories because at the time people thought I was mad had gone and I was, you know, the, mad, the reason I'm telling you a story is because it's a mad story. So I, I stopped telling people my, my true stories. I don't bullshit. I say it as it is, word for word, it's bang on point. Don't bullshit, there's no reason to lie. Everyone got stories, so we tell stories, well, see. I'm good at telling a story. Yeah, but um, <clears throat> I stopped telling people my stories. Not, 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 it was not to give in, uh, not to make me look like, it was unnecessary. It was unnecessary to make me look like a prick. If it's unnecessary, then it won't happen. I mean, so fuck telling anybody. I need that fucking girl, uh, Dan, she paid for the train tickets. She's the one who bought me the train tickets. <clears throat> but she fucking dumped me right over. She's the last thing she said to me. She said, I think you've destroyed my family. That's what she said to me, boy, then. You've destroyed my family. Bam. The last man ever heard of her. The guy, fucking. Fucking hell. Not oh. much I can fucking do with it now, eh? Fucking bitch. Tuck me fucking right up, bro. Right up. She did want me to, she did want me to come back up there, right? And tell everyone it was me. Make a public thing. It was me. <laughs> I said, I was like, fuck, 
I don't fucking do it. I get fucking my guns. I said I didn't do that. I said the deal was you wanted me, right? You, we, the deal's done. I ain't not going back in no, nowhere. I don't come back up at all. Right? I was getting there with you from that. Well, just I uh, partly in but straight away. Don't know who he is no, after that. <laughs> what the fuck's what happened to me now? <laughs> yeah, him and his mates is fucking waiting for me as well. After they make a public fucking announcement to say it was me, how, how do you know I ain't gonna have a fucking tune in? I'm in a different fucking town, miles away from home. But he, he's the kind of, I mean, me, him, me and the boys will smash fucking into him. Never done no deal. I could be walking up to a fucking arm ring. Fucking no chance. I was the last time I've never been there since. I've never been there before in my life. Never even knew it in the fucking town. <laughs> but it was a small town. I done what she wanted. She wanted him. She told me, I want revenge. I want to hurt him. I want to get the bastard back. He destroyed me. He hurt me. Left there for another woman, sort of thing. Like, and she would fucking hurt. I said, I do it. I said, I'll tell you what I've done tomorrow. <laughs> but, um, I've done a fucking job, innit? Anyway. <laughs> she, she couldn't fucking believe it when she seen it, what I done. <laughs> the fucking amount of feedback I've had back, I broke personal best records, the amount of hard back. Thank you for everybody that's not, that's it, that's made me with crying faces, saying fucking brilliant, hilarious, funny as fuck, creased, crying, funny as fuck. If you would have had a good laugh, alright, you, uh, like, if you enjoyed my entertainment I've just given you, do something for me now, right? And mail me and show me crying. Even if you just do a snap me in with three crying face emojis, that's good enough. Give me statistics, show how good I am, make people laugh. Can't get better unless I'm told. So thank you for everyone that uh, have snapped me to say brilliant and crying faces. I know it makes me happy to know that I give you a fucking good laugh. Someone just said now they're fucking buckled up, pissing yourself, crying. At yours. So, if you have had a good laugh, look, man, and enjoy my entertainment, you just had these snaps, right? Show me that, tell me that. My days of fucking doing things like that are fucking well over. Now I get, I've been asked once or twice by a couple of mates to do uh, things. And, um, oh, I, I want, I, I don't want to do fuck all wrong, I don't want to break no laws, I don't do any mad shit, I don't want to get in any trouble. I just want a peaceful, quiet life, no drama. Chill, peaceful life. That's all I want. No, no, no dodgy shit. Don't no come back. Don't want no police. Don't want to go to court again. Don't want no fines. I fucking hell. Don't want any, uh, <clears throat> doing things the right way. I we ain't believe boy done my fire extinguisher. Oh fucking hell, bro. Well, that's another fucking story. <laughs> boy done this fire extinguisher. I need to have rape alarms. My mate had three or four rape alarms on these. He did one he's what? What they? Pull the pin on it. Fucking hell, the fucking load of this. Rape. No, me. I will hold a grudge for the rest of my life. You know, if you go below the belt and do something low. Yeah, you definitely. You will fucking add it with me. You will fucking add it. Might forget, but I'll never forget, sort of thing. Like, this has happened. <laughs> what? I might not. This man I used to work with. Didn't like me. I tried my hardest with him. He just didn't like me from the start. Never liked me. Just tell her. <clears throat> me and him just never go on sort of thing. Right? One night, I was on him work. I fell asleep now. And I fell asleep in the canteen. Next thing you know, my supervisor came in. Fucking out of the time. You've been in here ten minutes longer. Oh, fuck's sake. Looked outside. Who was the only fucking mouse in him? Conkers used to call him Con uh, Conkers, Con Congreaves. He was he, like right outside the canteen, what big open window, looking in, smiling. I thought, mm, you fucking sneaky cunt. Instead of like banging the window or go give me a shout, no time's up sort of thing, right? He let the supervisor catch me. Even the supervisor said, fuck it up, you know, give me a bargain. And said to Conker, no way out, go, you fucking, you set him fucking right up. I right? caught behind him. I looked at Conker, as I said, I'll fucking have you back for that. I think he's funny, girl. I think he's funny, girl. I said, I will have you fucking back for that. Hmm. Carried on. I like, fucking well. Don't give a fuck if I go wait 20 years. I will have you fucking back before I depart this planet. They fucking mean it. Anyway, bro. 
cut that long story short. Bang, I got sacked. Blah, 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 blah. I had a, ba- I had a load of rape bombs. What can I do with them? I know. Payback. Let's go and pay back conquers. So, I, one night out when I was in the winter night, it was fucking freezing cold. You sleep down. Three o'clock in the morning on a weekday. When I, I went up, I did have the old Snapchat. I don't even Snapchat, really. Quiet street. Dead. Four o'clock, three, four o'clock in the morning. Up to the letterbox. Pulled the pin. Fucking hell, one of you how loud it was. Pulled the pin. Popped it through the letterbox. Now, I was going to film the, the house light up like a fucking Christmas tree on Snapchat, but for you, you street could hear it. That's how fucking loud them rape alarms was. Fucking hell. Ding. Hey, I did, I did that over a period of time. Three, four times, I think I did it. Um, to a point, right? They, uh, you know, because I had become sacked and anyway, I had, like, the... Um, the story just going out, my head's gone, and I'm, da- I'm dangerous and shit like that, like... They was on edge, they had a fire brigade there, right? No, because they thought it was going to put... Uh, it was a rumour going about there, it was going to put a petrol bomb and kept putting the petrol bomb through letterbox, right? So they had like a anti thing to just so you couldn't post anything. I put conkers, I, I what I found out a bit later on. I, I he was in a bad way, no, because they was fucking scared to death to go to sleep in the night, scared to death, no one wondering what I'm gonna do next, when's gonna strike. Then there's no one as you know flat out sleeping all of a sudden it's your you were a rape alarm loud as fuck. And I mean Absolutely fucking so loud, you streets could you uh, running downstairs in a panic, right? It means we, you that's his way, but I need as well. Have you tried to, to shut them up? Don't forget, when they rape alarms, then they're gonna be fucking easy to shut up. I, ju- I just attacked someone else, right? Who just pulled the pin out on a, on a rape alarm. That rape alarm is gonna beep until some fuck come and rescue me, man. So it ain't, it ain't easy to shut up for you. And I tried it myself. I, had to, I smashed one, trying to see what it was. I was smashing a fucking brick on it, trying to stop. The only way to stop it was the pin. So I don't know the fuck he stopped it. Why I, I would, well, if, if I was him, bang instantly, fucking up, bang, put it straight in the water. Fucking tap on. But apparently, oh, it's brilliant. This is what the feedback I was on back because he still worked at the factory when I worked. Was payback. Um, I heard that um, I put um, yeah he, he was having I think he had time off from a nervous yeah I give him a nervous breakdown right. And as well he put yeah you know, where he was trying to s- stop the the rape belongs he put an all in, <laughs> in the fucking wall with plasterboard trying to stop it could not stop it panicking shitting himself what the fuck is this? <laughs> I did it I did that well, three times. Uh, but one one of you that um, I only stopped then. Is when I had a message off my buddy, um, Corey, Gavin Cole, Sandro, do me, do it for me, he's a friend, a friend, no, family friend sort of thing, like, do it for me, we'll stop doing it, um, like, he's, he's in a bad way, conquers, he's having a fucking nervous breakdown, he can't, he's scared to death, go sleep. But I did have him, I warned him when I go to that canteen, I, I pointed at him, I said, I'll fucking have him back for that, you sad cunt. Left me in it and giggling outside like a little fucking boy at me on a fucking ball game because I was, I was sleeping. I fell asleep in the canteen on dinner break. Night shift. He knew, he said, he, big window right opposite his machine outside the canteen. I come out there and said, fucking hell, you back for you, cunt. Ah, oh, fucking hell. No single life. Boring. I would go. I don't have. Um, I don't have an idea. I think now and again, I do. I've had like the old company come here. You know, the, the old girl come round, whatever. I said I'm private and personal. Safe. I don't like. I don't like. You know, I think I um, keep me occupied and back in my story. I. Do you know what? I had two fucking stories. Um, and I saved it on my Facebook. I've lost ev- everything. I wonder you wouldn't believe how much I've lost and how much. I've been told a couple of times over and over to do um, start doing some writing stories, books, fucking films, you know, you knew it. I, you know, like, I started doing stories, short stories, writing. 
And then I used to swap me and this right there. I used to swap. I used to give him this right there to, for her to read feedback I used to do with her. And I tell a story, it was a romantic love story. Um, and she said it was fucking brilliant, absolutely brilliant. She said, I had the girl in tears. She was reading it, she, I, I'm overwhelming. So I went, I have a crack in the it. I might start to tell you it tomorrow, start. Once you get it, once again to it, I can't fucking stop. I'm right, trying to write a romantic love story. <laughs> I'm a romantic man. Be not. Very romantic man. I've got a lot of love to give out. Mm. Very cool. Alright. Is anyone out there who likes writing or reading? Um would like to read some of my stories where I'm looking for people really that for the time to read my stuff to read or would like to read a story of mine and give me feedback what you think so don't be afraid to mail me anybody I'd reply back to everyone I'd reply back to everyone maybe it might not be bang on quick reply like I like to give back but I reply back to everyone I treat everyone the same I don't know anybody <clears throat> Then reply back to you with some general mistake because my inbox is fucking red hot. But my friends, this today, to build a Snapchat audience, you've got to make your Snapchat stand out like mine of today. Again, my friend request, you don't fucking stop. It's constantly two, three, four, one, two, three, five, eight, six, one, two, two, three, four. Uh, all through the day, mad as fuck. But don't go in, go in. Ah, single life fucking boring as fuck. Uh, I can't, I can't fucking wait to settle down. Fall in love. I'm looking forward, not because I know that's coming soon. I, I will one day. I, I'm not worrying I'm going to never ever ever meet anybody and I'm going to be on my own for the fucking ever. I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried because I know if I really want to, I can settle down. Hmm. Ready? Look into my eyes, you will see what you mean to me. Search your heart, search your soul, and when you find me there, you search no more. Don't tell me it's not worth fighting for. You can't tell me it's not worth fighting for. You know it's true. Everything I do, Morgan, I'm doing it for you. Look into my eyes, you'll see what you mean to me. You see the sun. I'm gonna make you a millionaire. I do not give a fuck what I'm gonna do. Do it for you. Do it for you. I don't want to do. I don't want to live and breathe it what I do. I'm addicted, obsessed with doing this. 
Go a little bit harder now because the bass pocket. That's fuck him. Sad bastards. No, I bike to play with him. Spent all day in the fucking drizzly weather up and down his path, learning him how to ride a bike with no stabilizers on. All day, cracked there and did. He feel as he was, he'd get it on anything. Loved fast cars, motorbikes. I used to take him football, rugby. Morgan O'Leary, he'd serve him, you night man, he did. Yeah, I'd be on the side, go on Morgan. I'd, I'd talk talking kickboxing, jiu-jitsu, judo, football, rugby, done, done everything I could. Be the best father I could. Oh God, my this fucking shit. What is on to God? I it, it gets me down. I meet. I said uh, I live with guilt. I miss him. Fuck. Ah, oh. it's always on my mind. Right, this is a a fact. This is. I was told this by a a psychiatrist. Um, when I was on Big Brother. English people to think, especially Londoners, they think that I, I even witnessed it when I was up in London. Londoners think they better, especially all English, think they better than everyone else, especially as Welsh, right? Imagine how you're a content maker, do more, you do sort of thing like thinking your content's fucking shit hot, fucking awesome, you're doing, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna make millions of your content. All of a sudden now, you come across a video, a couple of videos, and you think, whoa, fucking hell. Whoa, I got a fucking serious competition there. This is a fucking threat. Serious fucking threat to my fucking dreams. Ooh, I don't want to work with him. Fucking no chance. You can go fucking fuck right off. What I can make out of this guy who I contacted today, who could help me. We could help each other. He, 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 he would be, he's perfect. I can, I can do as much for him as he can for me. Right? Yeah, he got his, his business is helping other people create content. Um, help them make stories, don't want to shit like that, right? Oh, so I checked his content out now, right? And I think he's a bit of a cameraman. He, he like to think of the stuff he does, like, snap on his Instagram. <clears throat> Likes to think, think he's, he's like a top content creator. I've sent him a couple of videos off today. And he's gone like, he looked at them and thought, whoa, whoa, okay, no. I'm, I'm not stupid, but this commando's content, you know, this is what he's thinking. I know it's fucking unbelievable. It's out of this world compared to mine. Here we are, one of the boys. Ricky Price there, the fucking legend on the right, and we've got Paul Gien on the left. Somebody asked me that they said, oh, Ricky Price sounds a fucking boy. He was the fucking boy. He ultimate fucking boy. I modelled the commando off, off Ricky, basically. I, off him. I, I, I gave the commando bollocks. Not as much bollocks as this man there, Ricky Price got. Not much bollocks as him, this guy got fucking bollocks. He invented the word bollocks. <laughs> but I, I, I highly admire this man, but I do. I highly respect him. He was the main man I had to get. When I heard Ricky love your videos and he was crying laughing at them, I remember thinking, yes, I, I fucking, I impressed the main person who I had to impress. If Ricky thought like, oh, you fucking idiot, go laugh at my videos, say he was shit together, maybe I would have stopped doing it. Think it, oh, always think of that. Would, but Ricky Price, the man. I like saying good things about people, I do. Only if they deserve the credit. I like giving people the credit when it's due. I like saying good things. Bigging people up if they, if they deserve it. I would never ever blow someone's pipe if they didn't fucking deserve it. It made me fucking sick when I see fucking India and the pricks getting like. The, the credit, like the pillars of the community. Fucking hell, they couldn't give a fuck about you. They, they'll fucking rob you if they see you fucking dying. I've got a podgy there, making them a fucking Snapchat famous now, boys. You reach my fucking Snapchat. Oh, this is the first time I've ever done this as well. I give a shout out, I think. Not like yesterday, this is new, this is. 
But Jeremy Boyce, so are we legends there? Paul G and Ricky Price. Message. Yeah. Ricky, look at that fucking chain you got around his neck and that boxing glove. Fuck me now. Good morning, girls. I'm on to something big. Big, big, big. But I got 100% success rate with this already. It works. I've proven it. It works. I've earned money out of it already. It works. I do the test that. Oh, I did like that. If I can, if I can, my idea, get it all working. I, uh, that's all I, I'm not doing it for the, for the money because I need the money. Right? I do it just to get that. Yeah, look, I made, it was only a fiver, but that product sells. It works, it sells. Right? I'm looking for five, for five girls out there who want to take part in my weight loss experiment. I'm doing a half hour. Workout video. And I wanted to do this video. I wanted to do it. You should be talking to somebody now. Does it work? My product. My idea. Does it work? Yes. How oh, good? 100%. 100% success. It works. Yeah. I, as well. I haven't earned any money out of it. I'm from it. Yes. A five of that. I've only sold only one. I've done. A fiver of that is pro is income revenue. Fiver that is right. Yes, right. Sound good. I like your idea, and as well, I believe it could be worth millions. You are the man for the job. I don't worry about someone else caught my idea. Only I can do it. Exercise video, fitness video. I did. You do as I say. Don't go cheating. Right? Oh, no, no. Oh, I can't be asked to cop, you know. Right? Don't do this. I, you're not cheating me, you're cheating yourself. Oh, oh, Just start oh, off with this. Start off with that. You don't want to move off a spot. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to move off the spot. So you do, is copy me in instructions, copy me, try and match me, keep up with me, try and keep up with me, try and keep up with me, don't let them, um, you know, you got to sweat, if you don't sweat, you don't lose that all. remember, the more you move, the more you sweat, the more you sweat, the more you lose, so the more you move, the more you sweat, more you lose. You're ready for your Watch out. We need the battlefield. We need the dance floor. I'm in a riot. I predict the war. We need the battlefield. We need the dance floor. This is not a 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 dance floor. Hey, Peter von Trade, did you Haha, yes, I break that crow. You know, you know this guy. Dropping bass inside. Ready? It's hard to keep command. Pop up a best of play. I am the breathing general. Losing words is sound incredible. I am a dance or major feeling. So it's a way to a raver. Master of the walk come on. Master of the walk. I say, ah. More you move, more you sweat. If you don't sweat, you're more stuck off. I'm gonna try and get into sweat. You got a stitch as well, right? Move it here, we we in fucking fat burn mode. Give yourself a goal. 
Ma ti è presa, ma io non fa roba con le cose. Io ho 6, 8, 9, 16, non è vero, io ho 3 big, ne? Ma ti è, io ho 6, 16, io ho 6, 14. That's my goal. Come on, eh? Always think that 14, eh? Right? <coughs> do as I say, every, do, do the workout every day. Done, right? Uh, one of people have asked me about tips and that trip for training and all that, right? And now what, what I say to them is, right, is if you go to the gym and you want to de dedicate yourself to a gym, you want to get big, right? You've got to work your life around the gym. Don't work the gym around your life. Maybe well, you've got to do your, your best to work your gym, gym around, for example. Oh, I'm going to go train tonight. Oh, fuck it. Um, I go, oh, I'm going to take the missus shopping. No. You go to the gym, then you take the missy shopping. Oh, I'm gonna go to the gym tonight. I go, I go nip the town. I'll fuck the gym. I'm gonna nip the town. No, you go to the gym, then you nip the town. Or you nip the town and before you go to the gym. Earlier, then you work your life around the gym. That's what, that's the fucking, the key is. Don't put go to the gym half hearted. What's the point going to the gym if you, you know, Oh, I'm gonna go to the end. No, you went to, if you went to a gym, right, when I wanted to get big, right? I know it feels like to gain weight, because I always wanted to gain weight. Jump on them scales before I go training. Fucking yes, got that four or five pound area. Fuck, fucking, feel fucking brilliant. I put on a couple of pounds since like no, two days ago when I weighed. Yeah, I feel fucking bigger now because I put on weight. Instead, as the weight was getting every time I get on scales and see them, that fucking. Them, them scales go up and up and up and up as they were getting bigger. Cool, oh, fucking yes. If I jump on the steep on a weekend, wherever now I jump on the scales and I've like lost a pound, I'd be like, fucking got it. I feel like shit. I feel like I've shrunk. Because I've lost a little bit of weight. Fuck all fuck all like. But no, I, I dedicated my life from the gym and everything. Like when like February, my missus, she no, she like supported me now, really. Like, if well, I fancy going a bit black or whatever. Oh yeah, now. Right, if I go to the gym first, yeah, go on, go to the gym first, then we go to Blackwood. I mean, it's always, gym was in the priority. If anyone is a different, no, for example, it's a fucking wedding, or oh, you go to go to a wedding, oh, I can't go to the wedding, I go to the gym. But get down at 6 o'clock in the morning, go and go to a wedding, fucking, no, that's what I used to fucking do. Don't go to a wedding the night, yeah. My training days, bang on every single fucking train, I wouldn't, I wouldn't miss a training session. If would be bang on, I would not miss the training session. I was never went, no, oh, I, I can't be fucking asked to go tonight. No, you know, you ain't, you ain't gonna get anywhere with that attitude. You gotta want it to do it. I wanted to be a fucking machine. I want to be the biggest. I want to be the biggest in fucking, I want, not just biggest in, in my town. I wanted fucking UK fucking massive. And that's how I wanted to be. But only that as well. I've always had like a, a shit, a, a shit, a physique, a shape. My, my physique was fucking bang on it. I mean, people used to say, you fucking hell, you fucking fucking size on it, you fucking massive. My boys telling me, oh, I'll oh, see bumping to someone, you know, you fucking hell, the fucking size on it. Oh, I used to fucking have it. I was 18 stone shredded, fucking up there. I remember the first time I thought I'd done it, I, I achieved it, took my top off. I, in, I always take my top off, I'm just standing myself, look myself in the mirror. In the mirror. I was bored, I just take my top off and just stand in the mirror, in the mirror just doing this. Look, just admiring my my physique and my, my hard work. Just to, look, that's how I've always I was in, I was in, a, in I was in a shape that I always wanted to be in, always dreamed of being in. And I got there. And I remember thinking, I remember one night in the mirror. I thought, fuck yeah, flexing my pecs. I thought, fucking hell, Danny, get that fucking size on me. <laughs> Every time I go on my mother, my mother, my god. <laughs> oh, you had shower, said she knew I was on steroids. Oh, you're going to fucking kill yourself, you are my mother, but my mother fucking hated it, but she didn't have a fucking choice. My body, my life, my money, my roids, and uh, I would fucking do it. But I want, I achieved it because I put 100% dedication into what I do. So I do this here, you know, videos and what content. So I, I, I treat it like a sport. Everything I do, I want to become the best. I want to go to the top and compare it there. I want to be the best. i never forget, I had this best. It's a bodybuilding best. Life's too short to say small, right? and it was fucking skin tight like gra. When I first put it on, I thought, oh, fuck wearing this in the gym. It was like a, I felt like a fucking ballet dancer or something like that. Like, oh, ah, fuck, I don't think I wear this. I feel really uncomfortable. Plus, well, I wasn't big enough for the vest as well. Like, no, no, too, bro, 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 the vest. And it's too, it's too big for you, but I mean, fucking, uh, we get, put a bit of size on, then put the vest on. Uh, so I was my, my target, wanting that vest. It's, 
But he was already fuck all tiny little fucking strip come over there, and it basically showed all your body. Basically, it wasn't worth wearing the best. It was already fuck all of it, right? But that was my goal. Until I got to a point, I got to a size, put a vest on, and, I, and the vest made me look even more fucking busy. I thought, fucking yeah, but that was my goal. I want to get big enough, pull our vest. I bought the vest, I'm not happy with the vest because I feel uncomfortable in the vest because I'm not big enough to go in the vest.